Hi everyone. In this session, I am going to explaining about number series topic. Number series topic is very important in all competitive examinations, especially banking, LIC, railways, SSC, CSAT, and UPSC. Now, in this session, I am going to explaining about the introduction of number series. First of all. what is number series and uh, what are the various types of uh, problems in this number series that are asked in various competitive examinations uh, that i will explain uh, in detail in this session first uh, what is meant by number series what is meant by number series uh, number series is nothing but a sequence of series or a series of numbers will be given a series of uh, numbers will be given we have to identify the number which is comes after that particular number which is comes after particular that number let us take for example 2 4 6 8 dash what will come after this number basically we all know that 2 4 6 8 all these numbers are consecutive to even numbers all these numbers are consecutive to even numbers so next consecutive to even number is 10 So 10 is the answer for this question. This is a basic question that I am explaining. I just want to give the introduction of uh, number series. What kind of questions they will ask? Basically, there is a chance of asking two questions in number series. One is uh, missing number series. One is missing number series, and uh, second one is uh, wrong number series. One is missing number series, and second one is uh, wrong number series. missing number series in the sense uh, there is a fill in the blank type question that is uh, this model let us take a uh, 2 4 6 8 uh, dash here what will come at this uh, question mark these kind of questions are comes under missing number series it means uh, it uh, there is a sequence of numbers will be given there is a sequence of numbers will be given here for this sequence uh, there is a particular logic particular logic will follows we have to identify that logic and based on that we have to find the next number this is comes under missing number series whereas coming to wrong number series in wrong number series there is no fill in the blank suppose for example i will take the similar example 2 4 7 8 10 if you take uh, these five numbers uh, here there is no fill in the blank there is no fill in the blank all numbers are given all numbers are given among all the numbers uh, one number is wrong number among all the given numbers one number is wrong number we have to identify the wrong number this is also called as odd man out odd man out odd man out is nothing but uh, the number or uh, element whatever the element is given whether that is numbers or letters whatever it is uh, the element which is not following the similar logic or similar pattern as that of the remaining elements uh, here as we are discussing about numbers uh, among all the given five numbers uh, one number is different from others what is that number here it is very clear that 7 is the wrong number among the given numbers wrong number in the sense that is different from remaining numbers why because 2 4 8 10 these four numbers are even numbers these four numbers are even numbers whereas coming to 7 is odd number it is not following the logic uh, same logic as that of remaining numbers that is the reason why 7 is the right answer for this question whereas coming to in this uh, missing number series there will be a question mark uh, maybe at the end of the sequence or else middle of the sequence or else starting of the sequence uh, question mark will be there those kind of questions are called as missing number series and uh, these kind of questions are called as uh, wrong number series these are the two types of questions uh, he may ask uh, and uh, in all these uh, in, in these two missing numbers and also wrong number series we have different different models of problems we have several models of problems basically in number series we have infinite logics can be formed why because uh, numbers uh, we have infinite numbers from 1 to infinite we have infinite numbers so by using those numbers we can create uh, n number of logics we can create uh, n number of logics uh, 
so uh, you are getting confident uh, while you are practicing more number of problems uh, on this uh, on the on this topic so uh, before going to this uh, uh, problems i will tell you what kind of uh, uh, basics you have to learn that is uh, additions subtractions multiplications divisions these all we all know that and uh, along with that uh, prime numbers these are very important prime numbers squares cubes squares cubes these are very important uh, in this number series why because uh, if you know these uh, prime numbers squares cubes uh, most of the problems will be given based on these uh, squares cubes prime numbers these are having highest priority while you are solving the problems uh, uh, you are getting the logic from most of the cases prime numbers squares cubes uh, and multiplications divisions additions and subtractions are having the least priority so we'll start with the uh, additions and the subtractions all this you all know that i will tell you uh, what uh, what are prime numbers uh, and uh, what are the squares and cubes that you have to learn first uh, uh, we'll start with prime numbers we'll start with the uh, prime numbers uh, what is meant by prime number prime number is nothing but uh, the numbers which have exactly two factors numbers which have exactly two factors that is uh, one and uh, itself that is one and itself those numbers are called as prime numbers we have 25 prime numbers we have 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100 uh, those are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and after that uh, 29 31, 37, 41, 43, 47 and after that uh, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97 once count all these numbers you will get 25 prime numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 plus 3 18 20 and 25 total 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100 if you know all these prime numbers and their squares then it is very easy to get the answers while solving the problems right uh, these are the prime numbers and now I will explain about uh, squares and uh, cubes. I will explain about squares and uh, cubes. So here uh, squares are very important uh, in number series. Why? Because uh, uh, most of the problems are related to squares and also cubes. So you must learn at least 30 squares. 1 to 30. You must learn at least 30 squares. 1 to 30. And uh, most of the students uh, know I think uh, 1 to 20 and they don't know how to remember 21 to 29. 30 you already know that 30 square is equal to 900. Now I will tell you how to remember 21 to 29 right now. And uh, uh, before going to this 21 to 29, uh, I will tell you the shortcut method to remember the squares which are ending with uh, 5. Let us take 15 square. Let us take 15 square. We all know that 15 square is 225. We all know that 15 square is equal to 225. But the shortcut is whenever any number is ending with 5, take this unit's digit 5 square. 5 square is 25. Last two digits must be 25. Last two digits must be 25. Now take this number, take this number 1. Multiply this 1 with the next number of this one. That is 1 into 2, 2. That is a number you have to write here. If you take 25, what is 25 square? Here the number is ending with 2, uh, ending with 5. So 5 square is equal to 25. Last two digits are 25. Now next number is, uh, here you left over with 2. 2 is multiply with its next number. 2 into 3, 6. 6, 25 is the number. Similarly, if you take uh, 65, 65 square. 
Here the number is ending with 5. Last two digits must be 25. This 6 is multiplied with its next number. 6 into 7, 42. 6 7 is 42. 65 square value is 4 to 2 5. This is a shortcut method uh, uh, to solve the, um, to get the squares uh, which are ending with uh, 5. Now I will tell you the squares for uh, 21 to 29. 21 square is 441. 22 square, 484. 23 square, 529. 24 square, 576. And 25 is not required. Why? Because uh, that is belongs to uh, squares which are ending with 5. Next, 26. 26 square, 676. 27 square, 729. 28 square, that is 784. And uh, 29 square, that is uh, 841. 29 square is equal to 841. Now, if you observe carefully, first 4 and last 4. 21 square, last 2 digits 41. 29 square, last 2 digits 41. Here also 22, 84, 84. Here 23, 27, 29, 29. 24, 576, 676. If you remember like this, then it will be easy to remember all the squares uh, which uh, from 21 to 29. These are the combination of numbers. Uh, 21, 29, 22, 28, 23, 27, 24, 26. These are the combinations. In this way, you can remember uh, so that uh, you can easily learn about uh, squares 1 to 30. Why? Because at least 30 squares learning is very important for each and every candidate uh, in order to solve the problems in uh, number series. And the cubes you have to learn uh, at least uh, 1 to 15. At least uh, 1 to 15. If possible, learn uh, 20 cubes. If possible, learn 20 cubes uh, or else uh, 1 to 15 cubes. So 1 to 15 cubes must and should you have to by heart or else you have to learn 1 to 15 cubes. So this is a brief uh, uh, introduction about uh, number series. Uh, in the next session, I will come up with a few problems. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the class. Uh, thank you.